Our uh, next speaker is Gautami Thakur, uh, the chairman of Sarasat Cooperative Bank. Uh, Gautam Thakurji is a well-known uh, figure in uh, Sarasat community. Under his uh, le leadership, uh, the Sarasat Bank uh, has uh, been selected as one of the world's uh, best banks by Forbes survey for last consecutive years, 2020 and 21. That shows about his leadership skill. Now, uh, he is going to talk about the branding of Saraswat. Over to you, sir. Namaskar to all my Saraswat brothers and sisters gathered here and watching this program. Uh, I believe there is a live telecast going on. The topic of uh, uh, which I have been given is uh, wide in its scope and dimensions, but uh, I will uh, cover it within the stipulated time and in a very simple language. Uh, I will divide my talk in two parts. One will be about brand Saraswat Bank and the other will be about brand Saraswat, if such, a, if such an identity can be imagined. Uh, founded 103 years ago by a few visionary members of the Saraswat community, Saraswat Bank uh, is Asia's largest cooperative bank and the largest democratic financial institution in India. Uh, please understand that uh, our capital, everything has come from our shareholders. Uh, we all are elected democratically. We are not appointed by RBI or, uh, you know, the Ministry of Finance or anything like that. Uh, as of March 31st this year, we crossed 71,500 crores in total business. In India's 75th year of independence, we will be crossing 75,000 crores. And within the next four years, we will be crossing a milestone of 1 lakh crore rupees in business. For the last six years, we have been consecutively winning the best technology bank award in our sector. Five years in a row we are in the Fortune uh, uh, 500 list and three years in a row we are in the Forbes list of world's best bank. So whether it is customer service, technology or size of business, uh, we have uh, made an impact. Why I am telling you all of this is that some people believe that a brand can be co created overnight. It doesn't happen that way. It is, uh, you know, generations of hard work that has got us here. And a brand cannot be made out of thin air or by throwing money around, you know, uh, to uh, create a brand and something. It has to have strong moorings and a strong foundation. Brands, uh, there is a misconception that brands create trust. I would say it is the other way around. Trusts create brand. And trust comes from two things. One is a consistency of purpose and a consistency of performance. What I talked earlier was consistency of performance. That is what we have been doing cons uh, uh, continuously. But when you practice this consistency over a period of time, uh, that is when you create a brand. Brands have unique attributes, which are qualities, which a customer or a public at large perceives at a very subconscious level. It is not, uh, you know, in your face. It, is, it, it has to be perceived and it has to be perceived at a subconscious level. I'll give you some small examples as I go along. We all talk about the Maruti car. What are its unique attributes? It stands for quality, affordability, reliability. 
you see all those service centers anywhere in India, uh, good mileage, all of it. So this is somewhere reflected in that brand. A Mercedes or a Audi may stand for class, refinement or luxury. So brand has to have its unique attributes, then and only then can it become a brand. Many of us confuse ourselves by imagining the logo to be a brand. The logo is a mere tangible, uh, visible image of a brand and a reflection of its attributes. Uh, people uh, say, well, if you take Nike, just do it. People think that is the brand. That is a perception that the brand has created, which is about, you know, sports, which is about the winning spirit. And uh, that is what is more important. It is not the conscious communications, it is the subconscious communication which always creates a brand. Today, in all kinds of products and services, quality, reliability are not unique virtues. Customers expect them as a regular feature in your offering. It's not that, you know, just even about 20 odd years ago, quality was a differentiator or good service was a differentiator. No longer so. It has to be part of your product or service or you will never not, you are not going to last. Let us, again, since we are on the topic of cars, when was the last time your car broke down? When was the last time you had a flat tire? I am sure you, many faces I see you, you are trying to think hard when was that last time. Now just imagine 30 years ago, when you travel from Mumbai to Pune, you take a stop at Khopoli and uh, you know, put uh, water in that radiator, again check the tire, tire pressure. Today all that is gone, there is so much of reliability. So where is the differentiation going to come from? So if a particular standard of performance which the customers expect, that becomes the norm in an industry, then only a brand can create a strong differentiation. Because otherwise everybody are more or less equal in that category. So that brand becomes very, very important. And that is exactly what we did at Saraswat Bank. Almost all banks offer the same products, be it car loans, housing loans, this or that. And they offer the products at the same price. There is no big difference in their pricing. So products are the same, pricing is the same. But until and unless you create a brand, you know, when that need arises, a person is not going to come to you unless there is a brand recall. And that is where we invested. Branding also helped elevate our image as a big bank, as a, you know, because being in a cooperative, everybody, you know, looks at you as that kind of a thing. But we have now grown in size, we are almost like a mid-sized commercial bank. But apart from that, that gave us that image, that visibility, that kind of credibility, which helped in so many other ways. We could, we have started attracting talent from other banks. People from ICICI, XCs are now coming to us, you know, because uh, they look at, you know, this as a viable big bank, a strong bank. And that has helped us in many ways. To uh, carry out this agenda, we set up our own uh, department to take care of the brand. This is not there in most banks, uh, but we have uh, that particular department which has a committed budget, a committed agenda and a program uh, which is there in good times and bad. Even in COVID, we didn't stop, uh, you know, our branding exercise. Only our holdings, you know, because people were not moving out, we didn't do any of that. But there was investment in the brand because we don't consider it as an expense, we consider it as an investment. I personally oversee that department and my strong uh, advice to them is from morning to night, any time during that day, I have to see the brand at least once, be it in the newspaper, if I go out, it has to be on the holding or on the radio or on the TV or on the internet, wherever I'm trying to search. Uh, you see, in FMCG, a huge percentage of your expenses goes towards advertising and branding. 
almost 13, 14 percent. You can't afford to do that in banks. So FMCG, you see for instance Amul, who is also a cooperative, could create a very big brand because you know they have that kind of uh, budget for advertising. But we had a limited budget because in banking you cannot spend about 10 percent of your uh, uh, you know costs on uh, marketing and advertising. So the budget was limited so we had to do a fine job at it and uh, you'll be surprised to know that after having consistently spent this amount, I would say invested this amount, I got a recent uh, brand valuation done and I am happy to inform you that is more than 1000 crores, only the brand. And uh, this is the brand valuation, not the valuation of the other these things. But this is what can happen to a business if there is consistency of purpose. You know, you do create a brand which has a traction of its own. That is where uh, I think uh, uh, that is how we run that department. Friends, in the name Saraswat Bank, we take the word Saraswat very seriously because uh, Saraswat reflects the aspirations, the achievements and even the ambitions of the Saraswat community and that is there in our name. So we have, we carry that, uh, you know, trust and we are also responsible to maintain that trust. So that word Saraswat has, uh, uh, you know, a great, uh, you know, reverence in our scheme of things. At the same time, as I said, it is consistency of purpose. So it is not only running the bank, it is our duty towards the community. We are uh, always in our initiatives trying to support uh, community initiatives and organizations, be it All India Saraswat Cultural Organization, Saraswat Chamber of Commerce, GSB Seva Mandal, you name any initiative of the community, Saraswat Bank is always there to support us because we take that word Saraswat extremely seriously. Uh, you will uh, also like uh, be happy to note that in Saraswat Bank, uh, I have personally followed this, that this bank, since the name is Saraswat Bank, belongs to all Saraswats. We do not differentiate between, you know, this part of the Saraswat community or that or this thing. In, in fact, if you take the board, I have personally seen to it that based on merit, of course, it is not some kind of, you know, key, uh, some seats to be given here and there. On pure merit in our board, you will find uh, Mr. Lotlikar from one community, Thakur from some other co communities, you, know, so you can say subsect of Saraswat or this thing, Mr. Masurkar from, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Chitrapur Saraswat. But we, we do not have those differentiations amongst us. We believe Saraswat banks belongs to the entire Saraswat community. It is a symbol of the unity of Saraswats. What is unique about uh, our brand is we, that we do not shy away from our community and cultural roots. Mind you, uh, there was a point of time when it, people said, now you are expanding all over India, who will understand what is Saraswat? We were also advised to, you know, make it into a short form like SCB, that is Saraswat Cooperative Bank or this thing, but no we were firm that we will carry the name of Saraswat forward. And we have stood for that and we st uh, stand by that word very, very proudly. In fact, I am happy to see now, because earlier, you know, we always wanted to name our businesses generically or, you know, uh, having global names like United or Universal or this or that which was necessary at a particular point in time. But now brands are coming up where people proudly name their businesses with their surnames like Pai or this. In fact, uh, uh, I was very happy uh, 
on in Saraswat Chamber of Commerce where uh, the entire case study of Hangyo was presented. Uh, Hangyo is... Uh, no, you see, this is what I mean. You have to be proud of your culture, to about your roots. I am proud of being a Saraswat and I want that in my bank's name and that is what our entire thinking of the board of the bank is. Hangyo thought about, you know, sweet uh, uh, Konkni, they say, like, come here uh, or something like that. But uh, why not? Why not use our own language, our own culture, be proud of our, uh, uh, you know, uh, existence and reflect it in our brands. This was about uh, branding, especially brand uh, Saraswat. Now I come to the second part. I know time is uh, short, but I am a banker, so I will stick to my time limits. No overruns here. Uh, it, about uh, brand Saraswat, which I believe I talked about, Saras, brand Saraswat Bank, now I am going to talk about brand Saraswat. You all are wearing batches, which I also borrowed from my friends here. And on on on, uh, on one side of my chest, I am wearing uh, the Saraswat bank, which I proudly wear. All people in my bank have to wear that badge. And on one side, I am wearing uh, brand Saraswat. <laughs> Friends, we have to understand the concept of identity. There is a, a book by Amartya Sen uh, called Identity. If, uh, unfortunately, it is not very popular, but I uh, have read it. And uh, what he has propounded is the idea that every person has multiple identities. We imagine identities to be unique, like KYC, your name, or something like that. It is not that. All of us have multiple identities. Starting from gender, uh, you know, you you will have identities of uh, profession, identities of geography. You could be in Mumbai, you could be in Mangalore, you could be in Manchester, or you could be in Manhattan. So that also is part of your identity. Similarly, your choices, uh, your opinions are also your identities. But there are some things which are called core identities. Now, what are the core identities? So, I will not get into that part, it's, uh, it would be too long. But I feel if Saraswat is part of one of the top three identities that you have, then you are a part of brand Saraswat. Now imagine yourself, all of you who have come here, have come here for the love of the community. So definitely Saraswat is part of your top three identities. There are others who might have said, uh -huh, okay, karekram ho raha hai, dekhte hai, mila to jayenge. You know, but you have found the time and come here, so you have a strong Saraswat identity. You could be a ba banker, doctor, engineer, businessman, whatever. But Though, apart from those identities, identities of your name, you have a strong Saraswat identity. We must all take pride in that, but also understand that when you are part of brand Saraswat, you have to carry that identity very, very responsibly. Um, nature, I would just give an example here. Nature has great diversity. Nature doesn't have uniformity. Nature has a lot of diversity. Imagine a forest. There are different types of animals, plants, you know, all kinds of life forms exist uh, there. Similarly, uh, and all those ide different forms are unique identities. A uh, lion is different from a, you know, a bird or something like that. So, but that forms that whole uh, universe by itself. Anything uniform which doesn't have multiple identities is not really a living thing. Look at a desert. 
it is dry, it is uniform, it is not rich in its biodiversity or other thing as a forest is. So we have to understand that where unique identities grow, it is a healthy thing. And we have to understand that, you know, there is no need for uniformity everywhere. You can have your unique identities and we do have our unique identity. And this is the beauty of India. In India, we can have, we have a lot of diversity, you know, in terms of languages, uh, you know, food, culture, everything. But still, you know, that is like a forest and we, we have our own individual identities which are part of that big uh, uh, ecosystem. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, you know, our constitutions, uh, uh, constitution clearly states this, that you should promote your identity. It gives us the liberty to do so. And, uh, you know, by being, uh, promoting our identity, we do not in any way become casteist or anything. Please understand. There is sometimes a misconception that are you call yourself a Saraswati, you are, are you being you know, xenophobic or something like that. Not at all. We have our own rights to promote our own, uh, own identity and that is what we have done all these years. Even being a small community, we have prospered in all fields. Take any field, you will find Saraswats excelling in that. And, but at the same time, not only we have prospered here in India, we have prospered everywhere in the world. Now, when we have achieved as a small community this kind of prosperity, we have not forgotten our roots. We have fiercely conserved and uh, we are conserving our own unique culture. So that gives us a very strong identity which is brand Saraswat. Uh, now a uh, friendly advice to the youngsters, as I said, I'll keep it short. Uh, I am at a very confused age something like 50 plus 2 or something. So you are neither young nor old. So uh, the young don't uh, respect you, the old thing you are too young. So you know, I cannot uh, advise anybody, I can only give friendly advice to the young generation. I would like to say that it is the previous generations who have earned this honor and recognition for our community. You can be proud of it, but you know, there cannot be, uh, you know, vicarious pride. You know, you cannot, you cannot have pride about something that has been earned by our uh, forefathers or our previous generations. The young will have to live with that pride, but also see to it that they, uh, you know, are responsible to carry that forward. Uh, the, it is the tenacity, hard work, acumen and dedication of our previous generations which has created uh, this brand Saraswat and it is for you, the younger generation here, to see to it that this rich tradition is maintained and brand Saraswat is taken forward by all of us. I thank the organizers for <laughs> inviting me for this talk. Uh, I bow in respect to all our Swamiji's. Uh, I'm told, I don't know if you have the time, but uh, there are no question answers, right? No. Thank you very much. Bye.